Delray, personally a pretty uh, pretty decent all-round day for you? Yeah, not a pleasing day, definitely. Um, nice to sort of firstly get, get the opportunity to play and then get the opportunity to sort of bowl and take some wickets and, and at the end uh, nice to get some runs as well. Um, you're, obviously, you're playing predominantly as a bowler, batting at, at, at number nine. Was that um, as a result of Danny Briggs' injury, sort of a, a straight swap in terms of a, of a, um, sp uh, a finger spinning option? Uh, yeah, I think so, definitely. Um, you know, unfortunately, Briggsy went down, and you know, no one likes to see injuries, um, especially a player like Briggsy, a big part of the squad. Um, but you know, sometimes you, those opportunities are sort of nice for players like myself. Um, like you say, straight swap, um, sort of to come in and bowl a few overs and, and bat down the order as well. So. You know, nice to get the opportunity and sort of repay the, the skipper and the coach with a bit of runs and some wickets. And you were, um, you know, a first-class best with the ball. It looked like it was coming out very nicely. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's been coming out, you know, couple, pretty nicely the last couple of weeks. Um, but you know, nice to get some, like I said, and definitely in that first-class average, <laughs> bowling down. Uh, and then obviously with the bat, um, you probably came in a bit earlier than you uh, you'd hoped, but um, lots of positive in intent. Was that the game plan? I mean, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it looked quite tough out there early on with the new ball, and as you saw with when we were bowling as well. Um, but yeah, like Vis, Vis and I, you know, when they were batting, you saw that once one sort of ball got to about 40 overs, it got a bit easier. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to sort of play the way I play, and, and you know, luckily it came off for myself and Vis. Vis, such a common figure, and, and made it you know a lot easier for myself to sort of get in and, and play the shots I played. I mean, David obviously has been in this position quite a lot this this season. What was his what were his words to you when uh, when you when you joined him in the middle? Um, no, he just said, you know, play like you play. Um, you know, just remain positive, move quick, and and, and make good decisions. Um, yeah, no, he's, he's played brilliantly all year, and it's nice to sort of have someone at the other end, sort of striking it like he was, and 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 you know, just rotating. And he just made it easier, like I said, for myself to sort of get in and, and play play a few shots. Talking of your shots, um, shots all around the ground. I mean, that must be a, a big benefit when it comes to unsettling bowlers' rhythms and things like that. Is that something you consciously look to do to to hit the ball into different areas? I mean, yeah, definitely. On, on a wicket like that, um, with it doing a bit, um, you know, I felt, you know, if, if I see anything that I like, sort of off the stumps, or, or maybe if it's a bit fuller, um, sort of, you know, have play, play my shots and play the way I play. Um, like I said, it's nice that it came off. Um, but yeah, I just feel on a wicket like that, um, you've got to be nice and positive and, and, and if there's anything loose, just, just try and capitalise on it. And I guess even more satisfying in that, uh, obviously we're still in a, a difficult position, but you've, you've helped take us from a, you know, a, a pretty tricky spot to somewhere where we're pretty close now to avoiding the follow-on and, and getting back into this game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, sort of when me and Davey came together, it was, it was a long way off um, and it probably wasn't something that was on my mind really. Um, I was just looking to bat and just bat time and, and, and also sort of get to the end of the day really and just build a partnership with Davey. Um, but it's nice that he sort of kicked on as well and, and sort of we got to a position that, that is um, respectable again and got us, like you said, back in the game. And the plan tomorrow, I guess, first things first, uh, get past that follow on and then, you know, both you and Ollie are obviously very accomplished batsmen and see how close we can get to their total. Yeah, definitely. I mean, just bat properly in the morning. Um, Ollie's. Obviously, definitely more than capable of that. Obviously, got a few, few first class 50s and, and 100 against these boys as well. So, that, I think that'll give them a lot of confidence. And um, yeah, hopefully, like I said, hopefully, we can just kick on tomorrow and, and go and get another partnership and see, see where we go. See where we are. Just quickly on, on Ollie, um, looks a bit under the weather this morning. Is How's he doing later on today? Yeah, I think he's, he might have been struggling a little bit, um, but you can't fault his efforts. Uh, he's been brilliant for us you know, the last couple of years. And, you know, he gets out there and does his thing. He's probably a bit unlucky in his first innings, but um, now nah, he's all good tonight, and I think tomorrow will be, be a lot better. Well batted, well bowled. Thank you.